Warning, this video contains strong language and scenes of a sexual nature from the outset and throughout. Hi, I'm Jordan, and this is X on the Beach, My Secret. My first crush, definitely my teacher, Miss She was an absolute weapon. I mean, she used to bend over that table to get the rubbers. Regina George's boyfriend out of Mean Girls. Even when I was watching it when I was little, I was totally in love with him. Was Julia Roberts, pretty woman, and I still fancy her to this day. When I used to watch Batman as a kid, when Batwoman started coming into it, proper fancied her like. My hangover cure is gym, brass chain amino acids, and a bit of sex in the evening sorts you right out. A Chinese, a tin of iron brew, and a cuddle. Get loads of chicken nuggets, sit in bed, and watch loads of Disney movies. Keep drinking. As long as you keep drinking, you're never gonna get a hangover. My guilty pleasure got to be a bit of Justin Bieber. <laughs> Gotta put it out there, I'm a believer now. My guilty pleasure is definitely Justin Bieber. <laughs> He's a fucking lad. He's good looking, good singer. He's got an Irish size chopper. There's like these videos online that you can watch people like pop their spots. I just love watching shit like that because it makes you feel weak. My guilty pleasure is cuddles. I love a little cuddle on the sofa, especially if it's raining outside on a Sunday. Nice little spoon under the blankie. Can't beat it. Oh, I said blankie. My first poster on my wall when I was like 15 and I was going through a really big Banksy obsession. I've even got it tattooed on my arm. Pamela Anderson. Back in the day, the girl was doing it. Cheryl Cole. I think I got Cheryl Cole calendar for Christmas. I'm buzzing. So the most important person in my life is definitely my dad. He's been there for me since day one. He was a fireman as well. I've always looked up to him and he's always supported me. Got to be my twin sister just because she's my best friend and we're together 24 seven. The most important person in my life is definitely my mum because she does everything for us. She's brought us up by herself. Probably my mum or my dad. I can't really say because I'm going to upset one of them either way, so I'm going to say both. It's my sister because I love her a bit and we like the same age. There's only 10 months between us. So kind of like the same person. The biggest lie I've ever told is definitely when I went to go for a bar job, I put all that I got C's and B's and A's, which I didn't, I didn't get any GCSEs whatsoever. But I need a job at the time, so sometimes you've just got to lie, don't you? Dumping someone because I'm going to work abroad, but I wasn't. I once told somebody's parents, like a girl's parents that I was seeing, that I was going to move to America to play, to have a football scholarship. It was just a lie. I was never going to America and never got a football scholarship. I think I've been in love maybe once or twice, and I'm not even sure if it was love, but I'm assuming it was because I turned into such a freak when I was with them. Three times now, and it's the best feeling ever, but it's the worst feeling ever when you break up with them. I have never been in love. I don't know if I've been in love. I mean, I've really liked a girl. I've loved the thought of being in love. My 10 year goal is to be settled down, married, and happy with life. Maybe have a boyfriend, us live together and I'll be successful. On a beach, drinking cocktails on a regular basis. On a fucking yacht somewhere, sipping champagne, doing nothing. 